In this video, we're going to talk about setting up certificates for your course. These are certificates of completion for your students once they finish your course. So I'm going to go into CoTrack by clicking Access. I'm going to choose my CoTrack course by clicking Edit. And then I'm going to go across the tabs and go to Certificates. And on this screen, we have several options for whatever certificate we want to use for our students. And I want you to notice that some of these certificates have the little red blob, and this one does not. What that means is you can actually add an image to this item, this item, this item, or this item to add a little bit more flair to that certificate. Let's talk about selecting first. Uh, you can actually preview, so I'm going to click preview. And this is what this certificate looks like. Uh, when it is made out to your student. I'll preview another one, the one without the red blob. This is what their certificate looks like when it's completed for the student. Uh, so you kind of get the idea. Once you find the certificate that you want, all you have to do is click select. And that will be the certificate that's used for each of your students. As you can see, there's a check mark on this one. So this is the one that I currently have selected for this course. I'm going to go ahead and choose the business certificate. I like that one, so I'm going to click select. And then it says, are you sure you want to change? Yes, I do. Also, I want you to notice on the right-hand side of the screen, we've got some nifty little things to help us out with uh, filling out our certificate. So right here, I can put the name of the business or the course. I can put an address, but I want you to remember that all of this is going to end up on the same line. So, and we'll see that in just a moment. And then here, you can put the role I put my name and the role so that it would go underneath the line. And then I also chose to add an image. Remember I told you you could add one in this template, this template, this template, or this template. So this, this image is going to appear in the template. And all I do to add that is to click Upload and then choose the file that I want to upload and use. You also have the option to change the certificate content. So you can click Certificate Content. And this is what's going to show on your certificates. Now, when a quiz is graded, and this is the course quiz, once the quiz is graded, you can actually have that, that grade appear on the certificate. Let me read to you what it says. It says, this is to certify that blank has completed certification on blank, which is the course name, and hereby awarded grade, and it'll give an area for a grade, for an outstanding performance. On the second one, if the quiz is not graded, it says this is to certify that blank, the name, has completed certification on blank, the course name. So you can see how these two certificates are very different. Remember, this one is when the quiz, the course quiz is graded. This is when the course quiz is not graded or does not have a course quiz that they can take. So you can change any of this information. Also notice there's a pull down right here so you can make the box larger. And you've got some dynamic text effects. So you can actually change the text a little bit too. I'm going to keep mine the same and click cancel. And now let's take a look at what our certificate would look like for our students using the business certificate. I'm going to click preview. And as you can see, there's my image that I added. I've got Shelly Turner owner, so that's the place that I would sign. It also has my address on there, and it's got certificate of completion. This is to certify that blank, and the name will be filled out right here, has completed certification on how to write converting sales letters. That's how you select the certificate that you want to use, and then also change the settings of that certificate to make it personalized to your course and your company.